Well, tonight we're learning that supplies needed for the drive through coronavirus testing site here at Baton Rouge General Mid City, those supplies are good. I just found out that 92 more tests were given today. Add that to all the tests that have been given so far since last Monday, and we're nearly a thousand tests so far with this program here. But the not so good thing about this is that there's a backlog on getting those test results. But the mayor says there are three things we can all do to put a stop to this virus. We are in the midst of a crisis that could impact us for decades to come. A reality check from Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom on our new temporary normal. She says she appealed to the White House for help for the coronavirus pandemic. Her administration is monitoring hospital capacity every day. Today, capacity is not an issue in our community. But if we do not flatten the curve and if we do not slow the spread, it will become an issue in the coming weeks. This comes as more people get tested for COVID-19 at Baton Rouge General Mid City. We're told it is taking about seven days to get results. Across the country and quite frankly across the globe, testing centers are being overwhelmed with their ability to turn tests around and the pure volume of tests that are coming through. Trey Nelson with Baton Rouge General says the collaborative effort with all the hospital systems in the city is important. Since the site started last Monday, more than 900 tests have been given. Because the more tests per day that we provide, the greater understanding we have of what things are looking like and what the current conditions are like here in Baton Rouge. But what we need people to do is to stay calm, stay aware, and stay apart. Now, the mayor says this testing site is being looked at as a model for other cities along the Mississippi River.